Hey guys, welcome back to our Psycho like, series. This is a new voice helping out AVG right now at the moment. In um, the previous episode of Flight of Fancy, Penelope joined our crew, and now we're working against the Blackbird. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him and I claim back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced. But there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. I think this is like. I think this is right here. Like the thing that makes me happy too is like with. Stay sharp, even. team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him. Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kind of zenned out. Ah, uh, Mr. King. Honorable Panda King, we humbly wish to speak with you. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Bad. I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way. Is he serious? Hoppa da da. Hop na ha. <laughs> yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Because, uh, I don't know, it's... Yeesh. With Murray, he's always real. No thoughts in his head, but the truth. Thank you. 
I'm not gonna lie, I miss being all of this. Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where are we are going to get them? The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! Well, that's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna look at Like... <laughs> Like legit. I'm so bad. Yeah. It's okay. Still got it. There you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really? <laughs> Anytime. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. He's so salty. Okay, circle. Hey guys, I just gotta know what I have to do. It's been a while. But man, Penelope with Sly, and then doesn't he get with. I hope he gets with Penelope. There's like a little girl screen to get with the John, I suppose. Last jump, and then we'll be with Murray. What does he do? That's his dance. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! Um, because X could throw Sly in the air. Here we go, after a little while. I'm all done up here. <laughs> Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick.
Yeah. Two and three quarters. <laughs> Come on. Where's three? Oh my gosh. Okay. One. Okay. Three. Three. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? How do I Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hiya. Oh, I love Guru. Look at him walk. Look at him run. work that fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator Clockwork, possibly can happen. Oh. Nice. No, it that looks like a yeah, like an aiming scope. And of course we have him right over here. And then that's a dragon. Oop, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Speed out, speed out, speed out. <laughs> Look at him sneaking and it's back. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No! It'll require channeling. Hi, what da da? Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The Guru will bridge your minds. What was wrong with his head? Do you see his head? He went full turtle mode. He ain't Bentley.
I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool! Uh oh. Out of it. This is all in your head. My mind is clear, focused on your destruction. I've got to break him out of this memory loop. Maybe I should threaten him, play nice, think I'm sad. He killed our dad. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. Oh, he needed the cane. Sorry, give him the cane. <laughs> he killed our dad, I don't know. But maybe we should go with Bentley's route. Play nice. Maybe he keeps repeating because he feels bad. But I kind of want to be petty. But for the sake of enjoyment. We'll play nice. Look, I'm here to help you. To get your mind out of this rut. If you truly wish to aid me, stand still and let my fireballs cook your flesh. Palms of thunder, fiery wheel. Fiery wheel, palms of thunder, booming chop, fiery wheel. So maybe he is going through this peaceful stage thunder. to fiery wheel, booming chop, fiery wheel. Maybe I should threaten him, say something fast, make him sad. Only one option has changed. But we'll go with that. Say something. You're from just the past. a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Am I? Am I? Let us find out. I mean, look at you, dude. You're throwing fireballs. Playing food, my bud. Booming chop, fiery wheel, palms of thunder, fiery wheel, booming chop, fiery wheel, palms of thunder, fiery wheel, fiery wheel. Also, it's just another thing. I like when he. Chop, this is, of course, his older thunder. Version. So that was his older version, but like I like how in his new version of Peace and so forth, he looks like Master Shifu. 
Maybe I should threaten him, make him sad. You know, I we played nice. But triangle is still there. I don't know if we should make him sad or just straight up threaten him. Let's see what we do if we threaten him. He killed our dad. You know how this will end. I've already beat you once. I can do it again. I have never known defeat. I am unbeatable. Okay, yeah. He needs to be brought back to earth. He would thought you just get so used to jumping that you just run into the game. Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Arms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Arms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Maybe I should make him sad. Let's make him mad. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we've both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are... Correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. Apologies for not talking as much, but um, as a recap, so we did get the Panda King on our team, 
He's, we are gonna help him find his daughter. And we're gonna rescue her from an angry chicken. He kicked the puppy just like Laura Hancock. So.